Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Ponchas and welcome back to my drag and tutorial slash playthrough this time with part number 3 something a bit weird happened by which I mean my city is no longer under siege as soon as I loaded the save file the demons just flew away somewhere I mean I'm not gonna complain it just sometimes sort of happens I am kinda glad because it means I do not have to necessarily teleport my hero over here just yet and it gives me a bit more time, which again, is not something I'm willing to complain about at all. Still, let's continue playing, shall we? So first things first, I... why is he going over there? Oh, that's right, I misclicked a long time ago, I remember that. So first things first, I did want to destroy this uh, Alice One's village. I also wanted to, if possible, do this quest for last for loot. Now, it is possible I will not be able to do it because I will most likely need to teleport my hero up north. But just in case the demons decide to not come back, maybe, just maybe, I'll stay there and finish this quest. Which would be nice. Either way, it's time to matter. Let's go ahead and attack, and this should be an easy auto battle win. Bam! And now everybody is dead, and I failed to complete the quest. <gasps> oh no, I'm so sad. Not really, I'm not. Okay, uh, it would be nice to get those unspoiled ruins, but right now it's more important to me to just keep on moving along, to get to this quest as soon as possible. Looks like it's gonna be a bit annoying though, but I'll see what I can do. Let's move a bit further. Is this a region that I want to contest and take away from the other mages? Well, it does have the steel stalks, which is decent enough for approval. What about anything else though? It has the, whatchamacallit, clay thingy, which gives me a bit of extra industry, which is nice, but no additional approval. There is a Guaram village nearby, it's at least two of them from what I can tell, which isn't too bad either. Access to sea, is it sea or lake? It's inland water, so that's a lake. Okay, that's not too useful then, but there's still some stuff over here, and this looks like maybe just a forest. Not the best of regions, but still having it and then declaring closed borders on other majors would be such a nice move, by which I mean it would be utterly infuriating if I were the other majors. So it's probably a good move, I'll see if I can go ahead and do just that. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to a town where I can garrison into a city, which I can't do just yet because I don't have enough movement points. Here are the weirdos that decided to back away from the siege. I mean, again, I'm not gonna complain, I really am not. So there is that done. I'm having some problems with the dust issues, though, I have to say that. Although they will be solved in the, on the next turn since I'll gain extra dust income from this particular city. So this is good over there. Adim is doing just fine from what I can tell. Also I want to expand those too. Let's turn off this overlay as well because it's a bit annoying. What happened over there? Oh, it was just a demon stretching its wings. Sorry, I got distracted a bit. As for my main city, I have a new seller already. So where do I want to send him? I right now am facing a small dilemma. I can either Go ahead and grab one of the good regions, in which case I would most assuredly go for Ziggur and start creating a powerful city over there. In uh, other alternative is to just send him straight away to this region to contest the other majors, which I am tempted to do. Why? I mean, look at the status screen. Of course, overall, my score is way below the endless AIs. That's to be expected. It's still only 10 or 16. You, as a human player, will be most likely below. It will take you some time to catch up to those guys, but you can't do that, trust me. What is important though that is that when I look at population, I am more or less on par with everybody, which is a remarkable, remarkable achievement, and considering the fact that I also have a lot of cities, yeah, I'm feeling very confident. Expansion-wise, I'm on the bottom, but that's because I don't have districts. I do have cities, and those cities together will go faster than AI empires, that is at the very least my hope. So, when we look at the... Not that, not that, not that. Expansion victory, as you can see, I'm on top of 10%, meaning that I have indeed more territorial control than the AI does, and I want to, which means that I have one more city than the AI does, and I want to press this even further because it is an advantage I can capitalize on later. So there is that. Why was I saying all of this? Honestly, I kind of forgot. I know it's a bit embarrassing. Don't, don't hate, please. Anyway, let's keep on moving along. I'll try to get to this region as quickly as possible, settle over there, gain access to steel stacks, maybe gain access to glass steel deposits, but I don't think I'll sit directly on top of it. It would be nice to start gathering glass steel, but then I would be too far away from the steel stacks. So, again, not something I'm too keen on. 
Those AIs are not expanding towards me just yet, so that's good. I am losing quite a bit of dust though, so for 110 I will need to work on actual dust rather than anything else. Bit annoying. Acceptable though. Let's do it in this particular city. Now I will have enough dust to survive for the next turn, and oh. Right, I did gain the empowerment, but the winter has started, which is not necessarily ideal. There's a battle against the Guaran. Alrighty then. Let's... Put you into a city size, save some dust this way. This settler really is not gonna have the best time now, is he? No, he is not. Alrighty then, let's keep on moving along, like so. I'll deal with this battle in a second. Adim, you go back to try and get a walk a bit on food, so that you can at least grow in some reasonable amount of time. Or really, whatever your name is. Yeah, you really do need your empowerment. I'll even ignore the need for making more sellers for a second and we'll let him finish public library and empowerment. Science-wise, I'm pretty sure I'm very, very far behind everybody, but for the time being, it is more or less acceptable. Now, as for this city, can I move them, th this person out of food? No, I need to have somebody, otherwise I will start starving. Plus zero dust per 10, that's not exactly ideal, but I guess I can deal with that. Seller is over there for the time being he'll stay here. Meanwhile, let's have a battle, shall we? Now the problem would be if my unit were to level up because it would cost me more dust. Thankfully it's still not quite yet there. And this is the only time I'll ever say that thankfully my unit is not leveling up. Now I do want to uncover some of this territory, so I think I'm actually gonna go into a spectator mode. Uh, you know what? If I'm gonna go for spectator, I might as well manual it, right? So let's go for manual battle just so I can cover a bit of terrain. That was a waste. I see like nothing and it's gonna take me some time to finish this battle. Alrighty then. What is the best defensible position I have over here? Well, none really. How much range do those guys have? Well, a lot really. So, oh wait, I do have a forest town. Oh, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and sit inside the forest town and it should be all nice and daddy. You probably need to heal this unit and you probably need to stand where you are. So like so, like so and let's just... Oh, they're going for the hero instead. That was unexpected, I have to say. Yeah, they are going for the hero. I was really, really expecting those guys to actually try to fight my units. I didn't realize they have this much range. Oh well, I guess it happens. I will take some unnecessary damage as a result, but it's gonna be okay. If I can, try to heal myself and let's go on like so. Now, it is a Draken hero, so he is pretty beastly in combat. He is gonna take a lot of damage, unfortunately. And I could have played this better, but it's gonna be still more or less fine. I'm tempted to pause the recording for a while, because this is hardly the most exciting battle ever. Then again, why not just let it keep going? It's not really a big deal. Let's move along over here, gain some... keep my morale bonus. If you can, please try to heal yourself, that would be nice. Now, as for the other things that are happening, I grew some population, so that's nice. Winter started, we, as we know, and there is a battle which is currently ongoing. Yep. Can you please heal yourself, do you hear? He will not be able to do so, unfortunately. And he was actually critically injured. I mean, not critically injured, that would be horrible, but he was critically hit. That's okay, though. I Some mistakes were made, it happens. That's why I like auto battle. It In those battles that you are know for a fact you're gonna win, it allows you to avoid said mistakes, which is a pretty nifty feature indeed. So there's that done. Aquapovistics. Wait, am I in era 2 yet? No, I'm not. I need Aquapovistics to be done. So there's that. Titanium Extractor. I mean, I'm working on Public Library. I probably do need to have the Public Library, to be entirely honest with you. Although having a Dracoling, oh, it's gonna still take me four turns regardless. Alrighty then. What about this or this thing? How much? Well, they both cost a lot of industry. Let's start by working on Titanium Extractor. Just so I have a bit of surgic resources, they're gonna be important. And a 10. Now, this winter could last forever or it could end any moment now. I am, of course, hoping for it to end any moment now because it hurts me more than it hurts the enemy because I have a larger, wider empire. And also I'm trying to be a super expansionist, so walking so slowly is really not working too well for me. It's costing me quite a lot of stuff, in fact. So, yeah. And now I cannot even talk to the Guaran and I have to do something not to start losing dust, which would be quite bad indeed. So, let's move a bit of population like so. Can I move a bit more to somewhere? Well, do I want to, is the question. I don't really. And unfortunately, because I'm no longer producing five food in the city, because of winter effects, then I cannot finish off the quest that I gained right over here. I only have two tens done. 
It would be nice to finish it because, again, two extra population is nice for a start, and not having those annoying bastards spawning is also nice as well. In fact, I'm a bit worried that they'll just try to besiege the city and be annoying. In fact, that's most likely what they'll try to do, and I have no way of dealing with that either. And that's me leveling up to the next Empire era, which is pretty nice. Epic music, it's extremely loud for the time being, but it's okay. So, we have a lot of more science unlocked right now. What do I want to go for? Well, first things first, I'm gonna pick up my phone, which is ranking, and I see it's important, so give me a second. Alright, sorry for this little pause. Let's go back onto the topic of technologies. When you want to select your technologies from Era 2, always take into the account the strategic resources that, that you currently have access to and that you are gathering and that you have stockpiled so far. I only, I only have 5 glass steel and no gain of any other strategic resource. I'm expected to start gathering titanium soon, but it's just not yet. So, as a result, I need to plan my tech accordingly. Usually, I like to beeline for the management sciences, because they give you access to some extraordinarily powerful and useful uh, structures that allow you to just gain a huge amount of industry inside your cities, which is extremely powerful. And for the mere cost of 5 titanium, they are well worth it on pretty much any city you can possibly imagine. That I like this way, way more than the canal system. However, I currently have no titanium, and even though I'm expecting to have some, it would be a better idea to start investing in something that I can actually make better use of. So, for example, I can go ahead and go for the peace technology, or I can go for Imperial Highways. I'm gonna start by going for Imperial Highways, purely because connecting my giant empire, that, or rather what is about to be a giant empire, will be important. Not only will I move much, much faster, but additionally it will generate me quite a bit of income, which is fairly important for me, especially in this early game. As you can see, I am having quite a bit of dust problems right now, so it is important. It certainly is. Let's keep on moving along with my seller, and let's go ahead, use my only movement action on my hero, and talk to the Guaran. What do they want? Sign a peace treaty within the next 10 turns for 20 Palladium! Okay then. I think that it doesn't require any thought about this. I mean, seriously, that's a very easy quest to complete, and I can just sign a piece to with somebody I don't care about, like, for example, the Wild Walkers. They're far away from me. There will probably be enemies of Waters or other majors as well, so added bonus, right? Where we have common enemies. And 20 Palladian, that's huge bonus, especially since right now I don't even have access to the Palladian technology. I can't even see it on the map. It's great. I really like it. Alrighty then, as for the heroes, uh, let's have a quick look. Of course, not equipment, but the abilities. Let's give me the non idle hands technology, and also let's go ahead and level up the impassioned preacher ability, which makes the population in my home city more powerful. Now, I am suffering greatly from the lack of dust so far. At the time being, I work fully on dust in my capital city, and I work a little bit on dust in my expansion city as well. So there is that done, let's go ahead and finish the turn. See where that takes me. I cannot speak English apparently all of a sudden. And see where that takes me. Let's drink a bit of water as well, because I really need to. Ah, delicious. Alrighty then, summer return. It's slash and beautiful and I'm really really happy about this. Firstly, oh, I was about to settle a city, but this would have been a pretty big mistake. What I want to do instead is Set my empire plan first. So, what do I want? Even though military is extremely tempting for me, and I'll explain to you why it's tempting, it's tempting because A, I really need to start working on my military. I need to start spamming Dracolinks so they can start gathering their experience and be very powerful in later stages of the game. It's extremely important. Additionally, this also lowers the cost of your settlers. So, and again, very important. But, there's something else that is going to be very problematic for me, and that is happiness. Soon enough, I'll have four cities, then I'll have five or six cities, and I'll have no way of making them happy. Of course, I'll invest in techs like sewer system or marketplaces, whatever they're called, I forgot the official name of the technology. The approved technologies. I'll go for them and I'll make them, of course, but before that happens, I'll need some backup plan of keeping my empire happy, because I'll have huge overexpansion disapproval. This is going to keep my empire happy, and without this I would be in a very bad situation. I would love to also go for extra dust in cities, because I am having some problems with dust, but I think I'll be able to do just fine until then. I mean, it will be a bit 
tough, but I think I can handle it. Most importantly, I need a happiness, so let's go ahead and approve the city plan. And now, settle down the city, because it will not increase the amount of industry, or influence, I mean, that they had to spend on said empire plan. So I knew the city is settled, I'm happy about that. Let's go ahead and make it work on industry like so. Prepare the mill foundry and the seed storage like usual. There's that done. Hero is gonna go ahead and try to get to the last full loot in time and we'll see where the next last full loot is. So there's that done. Everything else is working on production. I'm still losing dust for some reason, which I'm not too keen on, even though I just finished my, what you might call it, empire mid in my capital. That's a bit worrying. That's a bit worrisome indeed. Let's go ahead and start getting, not dust filtration, but dust dredgers in my expansion cities, because look at the amount of rivers that are over here. This will help me with my expenditure quite a lot, I hope. And Adim, he is going to work on empowerment, so that's good as well. Let's finish the tent. So far, so good. We're progressing along nicely. Diplomat Mans is done, so let's hope that some AI will want to sign a peace treaty with me. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at that. You, you say, you are trusting me. Good, I can force the peace, which I don't really want to do. But what I can do is just ask for regular peace, and they're quite happy about it. They could, in fact, give me some stuff for it as well, but getting technology would be difficult. Military science is useful. I am tempted to go for this. Sewer system is more useful, and everything that is expensive is even more useful. And I do not really have enough influence to go for a better barter. Because, for example, I would love to give them a set party and then go ahead and ask for something of mine. But I just realized I don't have enough influence to ask for anything, really. So there is that out of the window. But I can ask them for some spices or glass steel. Do I care about spices? Only a little bit. I don't have a source of spices, so there is a problem with that. I can ask them for a bit of dust. And this would actually help me a lot. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm spending 12 influence for this. It's still, uh, they still like the contract terms, which will make them like me more in the future, which is important. Take away their dust, which I'm happy about it. And I will not have to focus on dust uh, generation in my cities, which is again great. So let's go ahead and sign this. And now we're at peace, which is great. This gives me some extra diplomatic points as well. And next turn, it will complete me my faction, not faction, but special quest for the Guaran, which is rather great, if I have to be honest. It's really great. Let's finish the last full loot, shall we? Next location gives me Titan Bones, which is amazing. Where is it? Very far away. There's no way I can complete it. How many turns do I have? One. All right. <laughs> I guess that answers that. I don't need to go or try to go for this anytime soon. So let's start pacifying my minor faction villagers because it's actually pretty important. Ardim has already its faction already pacified, so that's important. Uh, Krian, or whatever it's called. Is about to no longer have a problem, so let's go over here and deal with those minor factions. Or actually, I can go over to Zigor or Yurnerilen and deal with those minor factions, and I believe this is actually more important. So let's start making my way over there. I intended to explore this area and scout around to get some ruins, but this can wait for a little bit later. So there is that done, and now since I actually have my dust, let's go ahead and... Why are you unhappy? You should be happy you have 55% approval. There we go, now you get it. So let's get a bit more, I don't really care about more food, let's go ahead and work on industry a bit more, like so you, go ahead and work on both industry and food, like so, so I'll get some more Dracul links, which is rather important, you, stop working on this silly business you're working on right now and give me more food, so I can get except population 110, like so, along with the Dracul link and then work on a seller, this will be pretty great. And I'll still have the approval to support it because of the extra approval I gained. At least in some of my cities. Some of my cities might drop a little bit lower. No, they'll be more or less fine. They'll be more or less fine, I believe. So I'll not be unhappy anywhere, which is very important. I am losing quite a bit of dust by 10. That's acceptable loss, in my opinion. Anything else I need to do right now? It doesn't appear so. So let's go ahead and finish the 10. Like so. I've got a Dracolink ready in my capital, very nice, very important, and I have two Dracolinks on level 2, finally. Now I need to, to reach 10 influence, which should be pretty much instantaneous. I failed the last for loot, yes, and I gained Palladian and Pacified enemy villages, again, very, very nice. And I do have 10 influence, no, I don't quite have 10 influence just yet, so 
Let's mo move everybody to work on industry and can I move one population to influence? Yes, I can. So let's work on influence and this will finish my faction quest, which is pretty nice. Gonna give me some extra influence, which is usually pretty useful. Finish the movement, anything else I need to do. I can have a look at the heroes that I could possibly hire, but right now they are all way too expensive for me anyway, so I could care less at the moment. I really want to kill those ladies over there, but nah, I, they can wait. They're not besieging me just yet, so yeah, but they might start besieging me later. But a single Dracolin cannot kill somebody though of those girls. He will need a hero. So let's wait in, this, in my city for the time being. So there is that done. Dracolin being made over there. Yeah, I don't really have a problem with that. Yeah, no, I don't, but I would like to have Kazanji Village done as well at a relatively decent time frame. So let's go ahead and work on that, since my hero is going over there. I don't need to stress out making Dragon Links too much. You, in the meantime, I am still having some dust problems, so keep working on this dust. And then a public library, probably. To increase my science gain a little bit. And then we'll see where it takes us. Finish the stand. And how long has this video has been? Not that long yet. I can continue recording for a bit longer. So this is just fine. Quest complete. A new IR. That's very nice. Gained some extra influence, which is pretty nice. And now I need to gain extra enough influence to set Empire and Expansion Ministry to level 2. So Empire and Expansion Ministry is in fact the one I'm putting my influence in already. So this should be easy enough. So there's this quest is gonna be done fairly easily. 160 dust if I complete it. So again, very nice. I'm not gonna complain about it one bit. Let's keep on moving along. As for my cities, I cannot go for Imperial Highways just yet. So this is a bit annoying. I can go for Nidia Village Reconstruction, which I will happily do. And maybe a bit more food production. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a bit more food. Meanwhile, over here, get a bit more food as well. Like, actually, I have a plenty of population ready. Yeah, but I also have plenty of production as well, so I can move in my population a bit around. Yeah, let's leave it like so. I do want to have my cities growing a little bit faster. Now, this is starting to get out of control, and I'm actually a little bit scared now. By a little bit, I'm really kind of scared. Of course, those units, along with the hero, can easily defend against the Justice Seers. Justice Seers are rubbish, and I'll have my fortification bonus if they decide to storm the city for whatever reason. But, in other cases, I'm a little bit scared, I have to admit. Let's go for extra dust for a little while, because I might as well. Or actually, let's not. Let's instead start working on... Let's instead start working on the Dust Raider and see if I can speed up the construction. Not really. Okay, let's work on Dust for a while. It's fine. And the 10. No research. I'll need to deal with that uh, so soon enough. I do have uh, Titanium now, so I can start working for some better techs. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. And because I have enough influence, I have completed the quest. So now I'm gonna get the aura of leadership, which is pretty decent. This is what makes Draken have such an enormous amount of influence. <laughs> Especially when you have a wide empire, which is again why I like to have a wide empire when you're playing as a Drakens. I do need to defeat three armies with an army led by a Draken hero. This should be easy enough. In the meantime, let's go ahead and grab my management sciences and follow it up with. A central market, I think. It gives you a lot of approval, and if you somehow make it to Fairbent, which is unlikely, but if you do, then it also gives you some very nice bonuses. It is a bit more expensive than, let's say, sewer system. Actually, a lot more expensive. And in fact, I think I'm gonna go for sewer system first, because it's cheaper, and it still gives you a lot of happiness, which I really, really need. So there's that done. Let's finish the movement, like so. Anything else I really need to do doesn't feel this way. This city is still in a pretty itchy spot, but I can deal with that later. Also, I completely forgot I can retrofit my units. So let's go ahead and do just that. You have a better shield. Yeah, better shield does give him more percentage health. As for anything else, I don't really care about other things, because I only care about percentage bonus to health. I mean, percentage bonus to defense is not that bad either. So I'll go for that as well. And I'll give you, dear sir the better sword as well like this and you should be a pretty powerful beastie as for the seller i think i'm gonna give you a better amulet like so tier 2 to improve movement 2 so you can move a bit faster on the map it doesn't apply to this seller or in the queue unfortunately it's not in the space but it's gonna help me in the future when i expand again 
So where it will expand to now? Well, most likely to this region. I need a region with a good city. And contesting is fun, but let's not overdo it, shall we? Besides, voters are closing in and I'm feeling a little bit scared by the progression. So yeah, we need to deal with that at a reasonably decent time frame. So a lot of things have finished and I now have completed the Doubtful Chief quest, which is pretty nice. Now, now I can actually assimilate the Sisters of Mercy into my empire, and you know what? I'll just do it right away. Might as well, right? So let's go ahead and do it, and it will increase my health regeneration, and I will do it at some point anyway. And because I have access, early access to this technology, which gives me additional minor factional assimilation spot, I don't have to worry about Hurnas for the time being. Again, I'm not expected to wage war just yet, so Hurnas, as much as I need to assimilate them, I can wait with that for a little while longer. Now, I have access to right of way, which means that I actually want to have it in pretty much any city I can think of as quickly as possible. So let's try to start working on this. Uh, yeah, I do want to have more uh, population though, at a reasonably decent time frame. So there's that done. You work on both population and industry. Oh wow, you have really nice population growth, holy F. Yeah, let's keep it this way then. As for my home city, it has a settler ready, let's go ahead and send him right. Hmm, if I send him right here, then he might be in danger of being actually killed by neutral armies. That would potentially kill him instantly. It is a danger indeed, but I think I can do it with relatively small risk. Where do I want to settle? Is there approval bonus on any tower over here? Not that I can see, but maybe there is an anomaly up north. So let's move over here and see what I can see. There are the boss, they'll probably try to intercept my cellar. There's a ruin right there. Are there any ruins nearby here? There is a ruin right here. There are no rivers, however. So I could just settle on this tile for enormous food growth, I guess. Also to here to get extra science and influence. I do like the idea of enormous food growth. I'll think about it. So there is that done. Dust bridges are being made, so then the next step will be right of way, like so. And right of way for you, this uh, as well, after you're done with this Dracul link, because it's kinda important. Like this, yeah, I'm liking it. It's gonna take him forever to grow a new population now, but he already has quite a lot of population over there, so it's fine. I'm almost ready to hire another hero as well, but heroes do cost me a lot of dust, so I'm not too keen on hiring a new one. I might. I mean, having like the Seer, for example, ooh, another influence boost. Very tempting. Or alternatively, I can get another armor leader in the form of another Dragon Hero. But right now, it's difficult for me to gain gold, I mean dust anyway, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's finish this turn and in fact finish this video because it has been long enough in my book. So ladies and gentlemen, it was Panchasu, also known as the Mighty Mix Spammer. Thank you very much for watching. What is that? Oh, somebody died somewhere. I don't really care. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you online.